off to Abu Dhabi. We're on the flight. Matt's here, Hannah's here, Karen's here, and my dad's here. <laughs> we're flying to Dubai because there's no flights to Abu Dhabi. Then we're going to drive from Abu Dhabi to Dubai. I've only flew Emirates once, I think. So this is, there's a border there. There's a screen there. This reclines fully flat. And uh, yeah, and loads of room. It's good. I like it. Very good. I mean, you cannot complain at all, can you? And it's fully reclined. <laughs> is there a toothbrush? It's, it's full, full Bulgari deodorant. Yeah. Toothbrush, toothbrush. Yes, can, we, can I get a toothbrush review? Because the last guy commented on the video who supplies those toothbrushes. That is it. Oh my God, it's better. Colgate. It's better than Virgin's. So right, here's the mail bag. This is Knox. <gasps> Save up. On a plane. Aftershave balm. Shaving foam. <laughs> Tissues. Oh, perfume. Well, that's it. That's good, isn't it? And the bag. And the bag. Yeah, that is, that, that's a good toilet bag as well, isn't it? Most people on here would just throw that bit. We're regular people, so we're going to keep it. <laughs> this is the simulator on the plane. Look at the graphics. Oh, it's fully drifted in. Can I fast them? <laughs> We're here in Dubai. It's a throwback because this is like my. Is it fifth or sixth time? Fifth. Fifth time here because back in the day, we used to come here, BMXing, coaching all the kids, um, BMXing, which was that unreal. And then since I stopped BMXing, since COVID and everything, I haven't been back since. So it's a, it's a throwback. I used to come on my own, which was like. Not as vibey as this. Now everyone's here. Brought the gang. Yeah. Here's our Dubai whip. We've got a thing for SUVs at the minute. This is not going to end up like the G Wagon because we're in Dubai. 50,000 Durham if you go for an amber light. That's 10,000 pounds. 10,000 pounds for running a red light. If you, yeah, so uh, let's not do that. What's your thoughts, Anna? I like it. Yeah. Driving the Bronco and then there's the tallest building in the world the Burj Khalifa arrival at the W hotel I think we've got an F1 car over here the plastic Merc and there's F2 cars on the track which you can hear in the minute I think actually we can look over oh yeah I've hit this wall many times on the track I remember this you always hit this wall <laughs> we're right next to the track next to the W hotel and we're on one of these yachts now, so this is going to be good. We're on the boat. <laughs> Wait till the um, the jets come back. Yachts, crazy, crazy, cinematic. <laughs> we're not allowed to film yet, but it is literally there under the cover on a pallet and it looks absolutely battered. Like, they've done the suspension as well. Nuts. We're on the track. Bargain, hunting, in F1. <laughs> Look around, this is not where you find a bargain. No. <laughs> yeah. It's not quite crop car boot sale, is no. it? It's the hero car driven by Leonardo DiCaprio in the film and presented in as film condition. Last chance, sir, at $1,350,000, at $1,350,000. Well, the Kuntash auction has finished. 1.35 million, and it didn't meet the reserve. So, whether they've come up with a deal or not, we don't know. But today, Aston Martin comes through. Not only do they have the best service, out of all the car brands that we've had so far, collecting the Aston Martin, even though it's crash damaged, still servicing it, even though it's crash damaged, but they've got us into the pits today and we're going to go with the team. But I don't know if we can bring all you guys with us because apparently we're not allowed to film in there. Top secret. Top secret stuff. We'll try, we'll try. But thanks Aston Martin. Thanks Team Valvoline. Let's see what this is going to be like. These are making a racket behind me. We're now in the sort of... 
pit area. I don't, I don't even know what this is, but Williams, Alfa Torre, Danny Rick. <laughs> so we're literally in the pit lane now. So we met Fernando Alonso on the main channel. The video's in the top right corner. And uh, Lance Stroll, we've not met him yet, but hopefully we're getting Aston Martin win. And we've got to see the engine, but I can't show all of you guys the engine because then people will copy it. That is top seat. <laughs> yeah, it's top seat. We've got to see the engine, we've got to see all the stuff that goes in it, and there's sensors everywhere. But it is, it's weird because you expected everyone here to be like really like scientific yeah. people, wouldn't it? But they're just normal, normal lads that work on cars. Yeah, yeah are. but they're just faster with the dugger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is a pit stop practice, so they're going to roll the car in. Quickest pit stop they possibly can do. Get them warmed up for the race. Uh, we've met all the mechanics who actually do the pit stop, which is mental. And like each, everyone's got an individual job. So look out, look, here we go. It's like eight people to change the four wheels. Here we go. <laughs> So, it's Matt's job to do the front jack. How, how long have you been doing that? Uh, I do two seasons now. I used to two do, seasons? Now I used to do a wheel off and then we uh, had a stop around. Yeah. Oh, hello. How are you? How are you guys? We're good. So, you're not changing any wheels today? Yeah. <laughs> it's literally unreal to be here. We've got everyone on camera. Thanks so much for having us all. I don't know what to ask you. We, we need to rebuild an F1 car. So any crashes happen if you crash one yeah, let me know <laughs> well that was absolutely sick i'm so sorry that we couldn't get as much content as we wanted there we didn't know what we was allowed to film and what we weren't but good news is we could come back because a lot of the mechanics watch the channel as well which is nuts because i have no idea what i'm doing <laughs> <laughs> to, know, to know what was good do you know what me and Hannah seen? What? Alan Titchmoss. Oh. You know, and we named our plant Alan after Alan Titchmoss. Alan. <laughs> Alan. <laughs> right, all we need now is... Uh, Alonso for the win. Alonso first, and then Ricardo Danny second. Ricardo second. Yeah, and then Sonona third. And then, yeah, Lance Lanstrow fourth, obviously. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and we're back. I don't know if you can tell, though. The weather is slightly different and uh, we're just going to give you an update on like, of all the builds on what's going on and my sort of schedule at the minute because I'm still trying to work it out in my head so I'm going to work it out whilst we're doing this video. C63, next video on this channel, the second channel, we're going to be fixing this because it's broke. It does start but it, it goes into gear but stalls so we think there's an issue with the gearbox, we're going to solve that but I haven't drove it in a while, poor thing is sat here but it would be quite good as a winter daily even though it's rear wheel drive. Moving on to the next rear wheel drive green car is the Murcielago, which is pretty much fully completely done. Uh, all that it's going to need now is PPF. We've left it long enough for the paint to gas out. So we're going to do PPF on this and some dry eye blast ice blasting on the engine to make it all look all nice and sparkly clean. Then it's going to go into the garage at home, which we're building at the minute, which is also going to be on the second channel as well but garage build full tour now if we kind of do this and then come towards me <laughs> there's a secret build here's the maserati the maserati i think we've dedicated to valvoline as the valvoline car this is going to have a full valvoline livery on it it's going to look crazy and we're going to be doing some stuff on this on this channel as well uh but that's an update on that some of you guys might not have seen the full all, all the cars so we're just having a walk around let's go back this way Lamborghini Gallardo is at RE Performance having a new clutch and some turbo work and an exhaust work. We're going to go get that when the weather's better, I think. Uh, Aston Martin, daily at the minute, nothing really going on with that, just driving it. Baz has tried to create a replica of my GT3 in America, so it's making us feel more depressed. But there is a GT3 we're on the lookout from at the minute. Oh, Range Rover, Mr. Range Rover, Hannah's Range Rover. <laughs> <laughs> Hannah's Range Rover, Hannah's, that's her daily at the minute. Um, Baz's car, he's done a full build on that on his channel, links in the description. And this is his next build, which was a caterer. I don't know why he's bought this. It looks like a bin at the moment. <laughs> it, it, it looks like a skip. So, uh, why he's done that, I don't know. Now, walking in through here. So, there's stuff everywhere. All of this has arrived since we've been away. And it did contain all McLaren parts. 
uh, some of which are down here and we're trying to get ready. The next video on the main channel is coming out on Wednesday. So you see the McLaren build. Now the Ferrari is up in the ramp at the minute because if you remember in the last video on the main channel, we couldn't get it to run to temperature. It kept overheating. And we think possibly one of the options it could be is the water pump, which is here. So the water pump and the oil pump is all one big unit. You can see it from here. So if we have to get this water pump out, it's going to be a nightmare. So any suggestions on trying to figure out how we can see if the water pump's working? We thought of taking the the hose off here because it's coming directly off the water pump and and then running the car and see if it'll spurt out water. We know it's gonna water's gonna come out anyway because gravity, but we we've got to try and figure out whether we're actually getting pressure from the water pump because if we don't, it's gonna be expensive and it's gonna be a nightmare to get all of this off. So I think that's the next issue on the Ferrari. But once that's sorted, we've got to get these gear linkages working and connected to the um, back here with the shifter. See here. Uh, but we did get a few stuff whilst we was at Freddy's place. You saw that in the last second channel video. McLaren rear lights, look at them. Nice and expensive, only about 800 pound each. It's not too bad. You sound like Hannah. <laughs> <laughs> door card, we needed a door card because uh, the airbag blew in the door and it ripped the uh, door card off. So. That's another thing to go on. Oh, delivery of gloves. We need them. That's such a mechanic thing to get yeah, excited we, about. <laughs> <laughs> we pay monthly for gloves on Amazon and they just come and they're good. Uh, okay, let's go inside and show you our uh, toys, which you guys haven't seen yet. Our new toys. I've always wanted to buy one of these. And if you're going to buy one, you might as well buy two, eh? These are... The Evolve simulators. I don't want to show you too much yet, but full motion simulators. I bought, we had two little simulators and they were, we were on them all the time. And I thought if I'm going to save up enough monies to get one of these. And this is, it was so worth the money and I need to pay for them now. So I'm going to make a second, not another second. I'm going to make a gaming channel because I need to pay for these. <laughs> so we're actually going to make a gaming channel where we're going to be doing like live streams and a uh, bunch of like racing stuff, maybe racing against other people if you want to do any collaborations with like gaming YouTubers, that would be cool. But we'll do a full walk around of the simulator and how it works on the gaming channel. The link's in the description. Could we get it to 50k subscribers without even posting a video. 50k? <laughs> yeah. Can we get to 50,000 subscribers without posting a video? And if we do, I'll post a video straight away. So we're not posting a video until we get to 50k. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everyone blow the channel up because, yeah, we want to film something on these. Kev, do you like it? And another little update, the McLaren, but we only had to oh, show you a little bit. I thought you were going to say something else. Do you know what we should do? What? See if the C63 starts. And if your C63 starts, it's reliable. Quick little shot of the McLaren. Whoa! I'm going to see if the C63 starts just for... Because we haven't heard it in a long time. Oh, it's not looking promising. <laughs> reliable. <laughs> oh, no. Dead battery. Yeah, I think it's completely dead. Hmm. I miss driving this, actually. Bop! So noisy, isn't it? Yeah, I miss driving this. Oh, well, that's on the next channel, the next video. Anything else we want to do? Uh, your microwave meal's done. Good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Is that, are we going to win the video there? Bit of a random one. It's a bit of an update for all the builds and all the cars. As uh, And this is what the second channel's about. It's just a, a bit of what's going on behind the scenes. A lot of stuff is going on with the McLaren at the minute and it's stressing us out. There's a lot of things to do to get it on the road before Christmas. So you're going to see that on the main channel. And quickly before we go, Matt's wearing the brand new secondhand hoodie and they also come in a t-shirt as well. The link's in the description for them. And uh, see you guys on the main channel on Wednesday. Little update. Peace out. What's your microwave meal of choice?